Hi everyone and welcome back, I'm Snookis, today we're going to continue on our Europa Universalis campaign uh, Swedish Independence, Mark II um, I can't really remember what we were up to last time, it's a new, new, new session And um, we're going to see what's going on um, Let's see what we were doing, we just finished a war with Novgorod I seem to believe, maybe. Um, we're independent, we're allied with England, Livonian Order, and Poland. That seems fine. Um, yeah. Suppose we should... Let's check if England is allied with Scotland first. They don't seem to be. Let's... Then it's... Oh, and entirely fine to um, rival Scotland. Um, our trade fleet's gonna protect trade now uh, when the war is over. Let's just. Okay. So we, we must have saved right before. right when we ended the war last time. Alright. Um, So we finished miss mission. Now we can conquer Gotland, which I think we will. Uh, Denmark is only allied with um, Friesland and Verden. And uh, Friesland is over here and Verden is over here. So two um, minor nations, one pro province minors, so that shouldn't be an issue at all. And they also have the, um, Norway under them, which isn't an issue either. Uh, let's check on our army. Two, um, tr two armies split up here. How many transport fleets do we have? Uh, six. That's good enough. Nobility wants some... Um, some more provinces. Uh, let's give them somewhere over here in... In Finland, which doesn't uh, isn't as important. Development wise, I mean. There we go. Okay, so thirteen two. I think uh, the representation of infantry is fine, uh, considering our increased um, infantry. Um, What's it called? Infantry combat ability. So before we declare war, I think we should uh, try to pay off our loans. Our loan, just one. And um, so we can go into the war with a clean slate. We're gonna muff all the forts. We lost some sailors, which is fine. We're gonna make sure that we um, have as good a relation with England as possible and Poland as well we have the next best air in Scotland if we won this um, uh, air race we we would get a lot of um, monarch points which would be a nice little boost after this war how are we doing on tech? We are behind in um, administrative and diplom diplomatic, and we're focusing on diplomatic uh, on um, on an administrative, so that's fine. Uh, CB against Scotland, which we won't use. We don't wanna get into a fight with uh, France. Um, that's a risk for us worth considering, uh, I suppose, that maybe England would will be attacked or will attack France and in which case we will have to defend them, I suppose. Um, it doesn't mean much, I don't think any, any other fighting will come to our shores, but um, England will be pissed if we don't participate on some level. I suppose our fleet can, can do some supportive missions in, in any case. Okay, so our rivals are 
Novgorod, Denmark and Scotland. Denmark is our future target here. Um, and after that, possibly um, conquering somewhere in Novgorod. Um, I don't see that happening too soon. Okay. We should increase. Okay, that's too bad. Can we do this at least? No, we can't. Why is this so high? Separatism, intolerance, war exhaustion, which I'm not gonna buy down. Uh, we could buy another stability. But I don't really want to. I, I want the, the ideas. Um, we got that guy. Let's increase. Uh, let's increase military spending by that, and then we'll go we're gonna dish out these units to um, suppress the uh, suppress the revolts a bit. We have so much manpower, not, not super amount, but still quite a lot, that um, a 7,000 revolt wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, a 10,000 would be a little worse. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to suppress the Novgor Novgorod Novgorodian one, at least so we um, get the defensive bonus if they uh, fire. Okay, so Kola should be um, converted later on when we have more stability and possibly an, not an Inquisitor but a Theologian. No, this is a Theologian. Maybe it's a, an Inquisitor, can't remember. Um, bonus uh, conversion, anyway. Um, yeah. Moscovy hates us. We, we're most likely gonna end up with a border with them after this war. Which isn't the uh, isn't terrible either um, because they're still pretty well. First of all, they have a border against Lithuania, which is under Poland, so we have a, an immediate ally uh, from that that direction, and they're also in somewhat of a rivalry with Golden Horde still. So, if we're a bit opportunistic, we might be in a position to gain some provinces in the future. Okay, so either pay money or lose stability. I think I know which we're gonna take. Can we... We can do that pretty soon, so I'll go with that one. Um, should we send an emissary to the Pope, maybe? Yep, yeah, sure. Gonna do that. G gain some um, ahead of time, uh, ahead of time uh, bonus for our trade. Cool, 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 cool. Um, well, it's a while to go before we can use any of the Catholic, Catholic bonuses. Okay, so should we side with the clergy or the nobility or favor neither party? Um, I think the sensible thing to do is to favor the clergy because then uh, because the nobility is loyal enough that we won't get any disloyal penalties. And in oh shit, but I fucked that up. Uh, if we do that, then. Um, the clergy is gonna have above 80, even above, no, just above 80 uh, influence, so they're gonna start moving to make Sweden a monastic state through a religious coup, which we aren't a fan of. Which is gonna take just under 10 years, I think. Hell, let's uh, let's go with siding with Clary, and in the worst case scenario, we can um, we can simply revoke some of their land, which we're probably gonna have to do. The dominance of the Clary—that's the event that's gonna fire if we 
allow them to have above 80 or 85, 85 influence um, in the long term. So as right now it's gonna take a few years at least. At least um, at least one year. So we're gonna have to have to keep an eye on that. And in worst case scenario, probably remove like like some of these. Right, so we record um, these two areas, and now their unrest isn't entirely gone, but slightly. I placed this army in the wrong province. That's my fault. My bad. Let's um, take an advantage of um, of the increased Naxal attack modifier, at least. And let's also uh, gain another general. Wow! Right! Looking good. Less attrition, always nice. Right, so this is uh, looking quite fine. How are we doing on the Great Powers? We are just about a hundred development behind the last Great Power. So uh, that's something we should be able to pick up in yeah, before the end of the century, I'd, I'd wager. Okay, so Novgorod's probably gonna fire soon. No, the Sam is. So let's move, it's in uh, Kola, so let's move up our army here, it's gonna be larger than theirs and uh, we're gonna have the defens defensive advantage, so that's fine. Uh, the Novgorodians are gonna... Great, so now we can... Uh... Okay, let's, let's not, <laughs> actually, if uh, Kola is gonna fire anyway, let's... Um... Of course it's gonna cost money. I was gonna see how much it cost. That's fine. We can afford that. Um, all right. So they're gonna fire soon, I hope, so we can get them back down to Karelia and uh, suppress the elder rebellion. Could afford another um, advisor, but it's not something I'm gonna do right now. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't us. I should have. I should have looked more closely. It's our air that's got the, the bonus missionary strength, which is good still. Good for the future. Very strong leader overall. Strong monarch. Is that something to look forward to? Alright, uh, we also have another uh, crisis building here, civil war, it's not actually building. Um, I don't know exactly what it needs to uh, progress, but... Um, um, it's gonna be there for a while, since we're gonna do it with our low um, legitimacy, at least for the rest of this character, most likely. Oh! Are we allied to them as well? Yeah, we are. I must have missed that. Oh well, that's fine. It's a, another somewhat strong ally in um, the pretty sensitive... Um, Russian border here. How are we doing over here? We are actually not in the lead. Unfortunately, uh, Saxony has a, has got us beat as of now. Not something we uh, can't fix in the future. There it is. Okay, so let's take a look. We want that handily. Let's move back down to Karelia then. Pay some extra money in reinforcement. For reinforcements. 
in the future when um, in a couple of decades when we have a much stronger financial base um, mainly from taxes but also some from trade we're gonna move over to more of a mercenary army uh, to um, conserve our manpower as, as much as possible okay so a new new pope which we should take advantage of of course i uh, i missed that immediately i should have invested it directly of course, of, course, of course we didn't have any carnival cardinal anyway so okay so the war is over over here uh, we have an a truce for for our four another years four more years um I don't want to declare right now anyway. That's fine, I think. Actually, let's let's go with the prestige and the Autonomy in Östergötland. It's um, somewhat of a high development province for Sweden anyway, but I think it's better than losing um, almost eight months of um, administrative points. Okay, yeah, right. I was, I was gonna take care of the dominance of the clergy. So we, we're gonna have to revoke some of these. Uh, influence, okay. This is the one we're gonna focus on. So, how much time do we have? Um, a few months at least. Uh, more than enough of time to get over there. Some extra manpower, always nice. Okay, no uprising. They're gonna be pissed because they don't have enough um, uh, shared um, land, but that's fine. And we, now, um, by doing that, we, we're most likely not going to have an, uh, a Novgorodian rebellion, rebellion. So that's that's cool. Right. So now we can pay off our loan, maybe. Maybe not. We need 89, so... Um, two more months. Um, after that, we're... We're going to save us some money to invest in our navy. And probably maximize our army since we're at our max manpower. Quite a stale episode. Okay, let's see here. Uh, you're still allied with Pomerania now. That's interesting. Because I'm going to want to have a foothold down here in northern Germany, both because of historical reasons. Um, and it's always uh, fun to play historically but also because of the technologies because moving forward uh, about that as well i'm gonna have to try to get um uh, what's it called uh, the renaissance right the renaissance up here it's already developing some this one is going to be done uh, in 10 years 20 years <laughs> Okay, that uh, the the one in Stockholm even longer. I think that's the most. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Um, but anyway, as I, as I was saying, um, if we take a look at the institutions, colonialism will start off in probably down here, possibly in England, and um, it's most likely gonna spread over the continent. And for that, we want to have a foothold on the continent because. When, say, we take Griffswold, um, when that one has embraced um, colonialism, it will um, affect Skåne and so on. Uh, if we don't do that, we're going to have to wait on the institution either spread through here or through Denmark, which is going to take a while. And same with printed press, even more uh, important with printed press, since that one is founded somewhere in Germany, somewhere Protestant or Reformed. And uh, yeah, so 
it's even better if we are able to take like all of Pomerania and we get the institution to uh, start off in our uh, provinces. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, the fact we'll, with all of these, we want to have um, a mainland foothold in Europe so we get the institutional spread quicker and earlier. And with that rant over, I'm gonna qu uh, end it here. Uh, thank you for watching. You've been great. Please leave a like if you like my videos and please consider subscribing. Yeah, have a nice day.